Welcome to the latest Bailiwick Express podcast. This is the News Roundup. I'm Matthew Lynch. We arrived back after the new year to the news that a review of how much the state's top earners in the judiciary should be paid for the next three years needs more time. An independent panel has completed an initial investigation to decide what the baseline pay should be for these individuals, but they are yet to be considered by the Policy and Resources Committee. Consequently, there has been no change to anyone's baseline pay at this time. Deputy Lyndon Trott, PNR President, said in response to formal written questions from Deputy Gavin St Pierre. Meanwhile, suspected drink spiking incidents have recently included a man in his 60s, with a personal safety campaigner urging anyone who thinks they may have been a victim to report their concerns to Guernsey Police. Poppy Murray has offered advice following an alleged increase in instances of spiking over the Christmas and New Year period, despite no incidents being officially reported to police. One incident, recently known to Express, was reported to the emergency department at the Princess Elizabeth Hospital, with the doctor stating that spiking incidences are common. Over the Christmas and New Year period, 65 mile per hour winds wreaked havoc on Condor's timetable and led to cancellations, delays and rescheduled crossings. One family was due back in Guernsey on the 26th of December, but delays and cancellations pushed back their return until the 4th of January. Across the water, there's been a vote of no confidence in Jersey's chief minister. The infrastructure minister in Jersey resigned and officially lodged a vote of no confidence in the chief minister, accusing her of a complete lack of integrity and woeful lack of leadership skill. Back in Guernsey, a new custody healthcare provider entered service for Bailiwick law enforcement. UK-based PHL Group was awarded a contract to provide forensic medical services to the island after the previous provider, local firm Healthcare Group, decided not to continue from the 31st of December. And preliminary lines have been drawn up in preparation for a new 1.3 metre wide footway to be painted on Rue de Bordeaux in Castle Road. been listening to a bailiwick express podcast if you like what you heard please share like and subscribe so we at bailiwick can continue to pull apart the stories that affect you the listener thank you for joining us